once you drop your own limitations and you so one thing we do bad in life is we put all these people above you never put anybody above you man make it an even playing field but you can't make it an even playing field if you're not working your fucking ass off i'm not saying not to respect people you gotta respect people but if you're playing tennis and you're playing roger federer but i'm fucking good at tennis but roger's the best ever that's in my fucking head and we're playing a five set match grand slam before Roger serves the ball, first serve of the game, first serve, set one, game one, first serve. In your mind, you're thinking, man, that's the best fucking person in the world to serve. This is how I thought about Navy SEALs. So what happens is, two sets fly by. Roger fucking smokes you, 6060, or 6061. You're like, wow, man. I can play with this motherfucker. But by the time you realize you can play with Roger Federer, it's too late. So that's what I mean by that. Don't go into any competition of life, physical, mental, emotional, whatever it may be, too late. You gotta try so hard. Know that, know that you worked hard, hard as fuck, to be on the even playing field. So I did that. So once I did that, your eyes open up. So, I, so now you don't see Roger Federer as Roger Federer. You see him as a fucking tennis player. So now you're competing on the first serve. So you give yourself a chance to win. So when I went to Navy SEAL training after my first hell week, second hell week, third hell week, I said, man, I can compete with these guys. Not only compete with them, I'm gonna go to another level. Because I started seeing, I put these guys in a lot of people on a pedestal, but it also hurt me. It hurt me too, because when you put people on a pedestal, you expect people to be at a certain level. So I was living off of, wow, all these mythologies of what a special forces guy is. You get up, you don't sleep, you run on broken legs, you know, you, I'm just like, you know, I really fed into all that shit, man. So it actually helped make me who I am. But I started looking around, seeing, man, these are really a lot of the normal fucking guys. And that disappointed me, but it shouldn't have. My expectations were of myself. I was grouping everybody. So that's what I realized. Being uncommon amongst the uncommon, it's really about yourself. It's you against yourself, it's not you against them. But it kind of, it sounds like that, because really, these guys are uncommon. Once you become a Navy SEAL or whatever you become, a big CEO, you're now common again. So everybody looks at these guys as uncommon. But once you become one, we're all guys again. We're all in the same group of guys, we're all in the same fraternity. So how do you separate yourself from the best? You're going to piss some people off when you do that. Because they all think, whoever CEOs, special operators, fucking athletes, they all think they're the fucking best. They're all alphas. Females, males, all alphas. So once you get in these groups, and you're like, you know what? I don't want to be like you. I want to be better.